Yeah, I was stuck in traffic right now. LA traffic. It's beautiful. It's gonna take uh, four hours, 20 minutes to get there. Excited for a mirage. Not so excited? Thank you. Vegas, baby. We skip past the traffic. There's about three more hours to go. Like, look at this view. Amazing. So beautiful. We're uh, listening to Hans Zimmer right now. As you can tell, it's, it's gonna be an epic three hours of music. Who knows if this vlog's even gonna happen because so many things are going wrong with the show. Best beef jerky ever. Alien jerky, it's so, so good. It's like the midway point from uh, Vegas to LA and it's kind of a perfect pit stop for for you to go pee and get some alien jerky. So let's go do both of those things. Very peppery. Quite delicious. Just kidding. It's very delicious. It's the best beef jerky I've ever had. Oh, hey, friend. So, complimentary of the Mirage. Thank you very much, guys. Got water to quench our thirst during rehearsals. We have fruits from all across the world. Look, we even have grapes and apples, oranges, a little gift basket. Try that out. Champagne bears. What's that? Champagne bears. It's like gummy bears, but for champagne. <laughs> we'll see how rehearsals go, shouldn't we? Welcome to the room. 
All right, this is the first day of rehearsals. We're running into a couple of hurdles. Uh, we're gonna try to fix a couple of things technical-wise. Uh, there's something wrong with the screen, so we'll see what happens. Um, I don't know. Getting some coffee, though. We're gonna try out the piano for the first time at the Terry Fader Theater. Some uh, some custom LUTs right now to our Black Magic camera. We'll be using that to broadcast 4K on the show. Just kidding. We can't actually broadcast. <laughs> broadcast. They're 4K cameras, but we can only broadcast in 1080. Unfortunately, that's fine though. Maybe in the future we'll do 4K. <laughs> Welcome everybody. We have Colin Cloud, the one and only. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us and being part of this crew. No, it's, thank it's you for having me. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be and epic. Yeah. Think, uh, well, what's the show gonna be about? Are both our dogs, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. We brought mascots, so clearly you're gonna see these two yes. throughout the show, running around doing it's dog tricks. Basically, it. yeah. We decided to give up on the magic, and we thought, you know what? Screw it. Let's get covered in dog hair. So yeah. uh, this is the future. Yeah. Limitless indeed. <laughs> yeah, limitless. Yeah. No, we are actually just on a break from rehearsing. We are working very hard, we should point out. Like, should, this is just. This is very hard work. This is like a five minute break. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, the show's coming together beautifully. Are you a Rocky Raccoon? Are you a Rocky Raccoon? Oh, no, 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 no. Look, I'm David Williamson. Not are you a Rocky Raccoon? It's looking amazing, right? We're happy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, totally. Totally. Mm. Some yeah, hiccups in the beginning, but that always happens in live shows. We're good now. Yeah. Not too. Three days to go. It's Yay. gonna be epic. Yay. If anything, Natsu comes out. If it doesn't go Sorted. Wrong, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. That's it. People will just yeah, gasp. I, I mean, like, you're so pretty much more famous than your dad is now, yeah. right? So, I mean, yeah, no <laughs> worries <laughs> there. Followers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say hi. Oh, oh she's fat. <laughs> cool. <laughs> like actual like matte and gloss top coats. We're at the Mirage the Casino you know, and Hotel in Las Vegas. Done with it. <laughs> the hotel like, that Siegfried and Roy it, like, performed in. Uh, same theater that Love is performing. I think it'll be right, like, it'll be like yeah. as well as the Terry Fader Theater. Right this is currently the Terry Fader the right Theater. Right so. yep. Colin Cloud, he's going to be performing with me. He was also on America's Got Talent, season 12, and on Champions. Yeah, and it's going to save In my opinion, one of the best ones yeah. that's alive. That's why I have it in my show. Actually, mainly it's to make me not look like <laughs> so That's why he's here. Because I don't think I can do a show by myself. Impossible. And the camera switcher, never done it before, but there's a first time for everything. You can see my setup here. Have all the cameras. Whoa, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's transitions with Casey. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm Colin Cloud. I'm just, you know, I'm Shinlin's audience fluffer. Uh, that's that's my main role here this week. Um, I feel like I haven't really done much, although I have been here since with Shin since 5 a.m. It's now 10 a.m. So like, you know, it's one of those days where you sit in the theater. And uh, you pretend to look busy, but everyone else is really doing the hard work. And then uh, when they call on you, you yeah, try and make it look like you still have energy and enthusiasm. So uh, 
I'm basically saving that at the moment. My name's Amelia, I'm the stage manager. So we open tomorrow, uh, and right now we're getting ready to do our first technical run through. Think of the show? Amazing. Spectacular. Yes, it's amazing. Awesome. Amazing. It was so good. <laughs> the music selection, I'm fine. I love Oblivion by M38. His, his tricks are really good, and it was like this is probably like one of the best magic shows I've seen. Hi, everybody. My name is Blaze Zara. I'm working behind the scenes on his new show, Limitless. Having a great meet and greet. Uh, we just had an awesome show. It was a wonderful opening yeah. night. Then uh, yeah, sold some merchandise and uh, yeah, we're, we all we all do every role over here in Team Shin. Chloe, I'm from Portsmouth. I'm Colin's other half. Some would say manager. The bows was the best part. Everyone was standing. It was a great reaction. Everyone loved it, and it was like the what fourth standing ovation within the show. I think it was. I know it was the first one. My name's Terence. I'm the production manager. I kick people's butts to make them do their work. Essentially. The favorite part of the show is watching audience reactions to things. Seeing an effect pull off and watching people scream, scream vulgar things tonight, in fact, you know? Something happened on stage and people are screaming, What the f in the back of the house as loud as they could. And then there are old people next to them going, What the f And then they started shouting. It was really great. It really, but uh, but that's my favorite part. There's the magic, and then there's the reaction to the magic, which is its own form of magic, and that's the form that I really enjoy. <laughs> so we finished opening night. It was uh, unbelievable. I had no idea whether certain moments would work, but they did. So I'm really glad. Colin obviously was amazing as usual. Come watch the show. It's gonna be really good. Opening night was was pretty good. It's only gonna get better. So. Yeah. All right. So they they made this amazing cake for the show because of opening night and it's only proper that I cut it. So let's cut this cake. I've never really cut a cake like this before, but check it out. It's a regalia. Regalia cake. Ace of spades. And the mirage right over here. Look at that. Oh, I think I'm cutting at a diagonal. Was this your card? Yeah, that'll be cool though. It's a speed. So that's show number one of you know potentially thousands done. Um, I think we're all genuinely really happy. I mean, the audience reaction was insane. I'm sure uh, if Jason behind the camera has filmed uh, any other show and he'll give me a nod or a no, yeah, then you're gonna see just uh, how amazing the audience were. And the fact that it was our first one, the fact they were so great, made it like epic and just way more enjoyable. Um, but yeah, we're not slept in like five days and uh, that was worth it. So, I mean, I could stand here and make sarcastic comments or I could just be like, everyone really freaking nailed it. And they did and it was amazing. And yeah, over the moon delighted. So cannot wait to come back and do it again tomorrow. But for now, I'm gonna smash these. Yeah. We're Jeff and Sharon from Charlotte, North Carolina, and um, in fact, we we had this whole trip just because of this show. But we go to Vegas a lot. 
But you did we come across an event and we came just to see Shin Lin. Yes. Huge fans from Pitt and Teller, then America's Got Talent. And Jimmy Fallon. We saw him and we followed yes. him all the way. When I, we got this lanyard, I was kind of bummed because it was just a five of spades. I was like, man, I wish I'd have got an ace of spades or something. And we had a little time to kill before they opened the doors. So I went in, went right up to a machine. I don't even play slots, put $20 in, and I won $500. And I said, it's got to be why I got this five. He it was Shin Lim. Magic was already starting before I even got in the show. My favorite part of the show is when I got picked to watch the Ambitious Card. That was the best thing ever. <laughs> What was it like being up there? Uh, I was actually really nervous. I wasn't doing anything, but I was really nervous and just so excited to be able to see the act in right in front of me. It was just so, I felt so honored to be picked. Yeah. Was it as good? Like oh, it was even better. Yeah, like right in front. It's like so different from watching it on TV. The show was uh, is very impressive because it shows his story. You know, and the story of you go through challenges and then you can overcome it with your hard work and uh, just focus and uh, just commitment to his craft. And, he, and his message was uh, do what you love. And I really like that because everyone wants to do what they love, but they're afraid to. And his show shows that. It is possible. Anything is possible if you put your mind to it. The show was really good. Um, his side of hands are amazing. He's the best magician in the world. Did the show? I thought it was absolutely incredible. I almost teared up. It was crazy. Hey, I. I'm just a stagehand here. You know? Super fun. The funnest I have ever had. <laughs> I move stuff like chairs. <laughs> Ooh, opening weekend is over, baby. It was amazing. It was seriously one of the best uh, things I've ever done. Colin was incredible. He's like one of the perfect fits for the show. I'm just so happy and grateful. And I just want to thank the whole team for doing such an amazing job. Everyone worked so hard. Um, they were so incredible. So I'm just, I'm over the moon. And I definitely need some sleep. But <laughs> It was awesome. It was an awesome opening weekend. And I can't wait to do way more. No. Oh, wow. So, so much sush. Yeah, and for once it's actually cold. Um. It only took till the last day. You have fun? Oh, I always have fun. Finish opening weekend. And I was so successful. I'm so, so grateful for everyone for coming out and supporting Magic and me and Colin as well. We're having way more shows at the Mirage added now. You gotta get your tickets soon though because a lot of them are selling out really fast. So, uh, which is a good thing, very good thing. But yeah, I'll see you in Vegas later on. We're gonna make some changes. I've heard of all your criticisms. Thank you so much for all your feedback. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and I am going to try my best to make all those changes, make the show as perfect as it can be. So without further ado, Shinlam out.